Tony Gerdeman joining us from the Ozone.net. Please join him there. Uh, of course, join us here on Mark Rogers TV for the best in college football coverage across the map. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and the audio uh, versions you can catch on Podbean, iTunes, and Stitcher. Just search Mark Rogers TV. So the Buckeyes uh, employing uh, the base offense and defense for Indiana for the scout teams after doing a situational week last week, uh, also working on the two-minute offense. Uh, scrimmage is coming up on Saturday. Tony, what would be uh, some of the, the the news that you would like to hear out of that first scrimmage that would make you feel better about not just the opener, but of course Oklahoma coming up as well? Well, and actually this is the third scrimmage, so we've already gotten some of that news. Um, you know, I, I think what they always want to hear is uh, that everybody comes out healthy. You know, no injuries. That's the big thing. Uh, but what they look for is, and I wrote about this a couple of days ago, is, you know, yeah, everybody can make a play at the start of the scrimmage. They want to see p players making plays at the end of a scrimmage when everybody is tired and you, you've got a receiver who's dead tired going up against a corner who is pressing them, who's been rotating. They want to see players make plays at the end. And those are the guys who will move up the depth chart. If, if, you know, making plays early, that's no big thing. You know, you're at Ohio State. Zach Smith told me, you know, you're at Ohio State. You're supposed to make plays. Big whoop. It's who makes plays at the end, who steps up at the end. So that's what they'll be watching for. And, you know, some of the guys who have been playing well, you know, freshman J.K. Dobbins, the running back, he's gotten a lot of snaps, you know, with Mike Weber sort of being brought back slowly with, a, I believe, a hamstring issue. So, you know, they really like what he's doing. And then, you know, Antonio Williams is a sophomore running back. You know, he's sort of the forgotten guy, but, you know, he's been making some moves. Urban Meyer talked about him even last week, having a good day. And so, you know, you get to see all of these different players who um, haven't really had opportunities, but they these are guys that are going to be relied on this year. And so to see them step up in these situations, these live situations, you know, that's – they give a veteran some rest on these days, these players in situations to succeed, but they still have to go out there and do it. And they're seeing, you know, a lot of the young guys do that. Um, and we don't even know if a lot of these guys are going to play this year just because, you know, they're, they're pretty deep. Dobbins is going to play. Um, but, you know, I, I don't know how many other young guys who are making plays in the scrimmage will see the field this year.